This video is for the removal and replacement of a fuel tank pressure sensor. As you can see the tire is off. The wheel well has been taken out. 10 millimeter nuts uh, bolts that hold the wheel well plastic wheel well on. If these things fall off right here, um, they go back in there, they clip in. Those things hold the bolts that hold the wheel well on. There's one right here. This one fell off. I had to put it back. So there is the fuel pump and the fuel tank pressure sensor. Stick my hand in here. And I've taken the line off. This is the line. Right there is where it connects. Um, see if I can put it back in. There it's back in. So getting it off is just lifting this off and pushing back. And this is the main electrical line that's coming in and it splits as you can see. This right here goes into the top of the fuel tank. Um, um, sorry, it goes to the fuel pump. Um, that, of course, goes to the pressure sensor. You can see that this is right somewhat in the way, but I can still get my hand in there. That's a flexible hose uh, that goes to the fuel tank when you put gasoline into the fuel neck. This is a recirculation line that takes the vapors that get to the top of the tank where the fuel cap is on and just allow it to be recycled back into the EVAP line. So that comes down, feeds into a connection right here. You have to push those white clips on either side to, to get that hose to come off. If you wanna separate this and separate this and get you access with your hand in here if you want, this is gonna basically stay here unless you take it off from the gas tank on the inside. There's the bolts. Um, yeah, so uh, a couple other things. There's a gas tank. Um, the line that comes out is actually right there. Um, that comes out, runs along. Um, and is this line right here and it feeds into the canister um, on the right hand side the big uh, the thicker one on the right hand side um, is that line from the gas tank this one comes out of the um, charcoal canister and goes up and goes into the engine um, it, it feeds the purge valve solenoid so that over there on that side um, is where the vent solenoid is that allows air into this box and um, and then comes back through that big line and allows the gasoline tank to breathe. Uh, which is necessary when you're filling gas into a tank the air has to be displaced and so the air gets displaced along this tube runs in there the purpose of that is that air gets cleaned before it exits through the uh, vent solenoid valve that opens um, after it's been filtered out through the charcoal that's in there and uh, doesn't pollute the environment that's the line of course that goes to the uh, vent solenoid um, and anyways so the purpose of this video was to let you know that it's absolutely a good choice to take off the tire and trying to do this work on this vehicle which is a uh, not a crew cab it's an extended cab so I guess the crew cab would come back a little bit further uh, with the door um, so yeah, so this is um, reachable by hand. I looked on the other side and I found that 
on the other side of that gas tank over there, there's a drive shaft, of course, that goes from the transmission to the rear. And it's in the way of sticking your hand up and over and, and operating in here well. So this is definitely the way to do it as far as, that's my choice anyways, uh, instead of struggling the other way. Um, and as you can see, coming in with hand down and underneath here, through and there is the line that comes in you can see right here is the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor uh, sitting right here and uh, I'm gonna try soon so if you can use shop air I would sure recommend that because I found that if you're gonna try and vacuum you'd have to take this all off to get the vacuum nozzle in here at at that angle in order to vacuum up the stuff. So I came in here with shop air and it works really well, clean all this stuff out. So uh, you can get your hand in at different angles and spray and I've already cleaned it all out. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to clean it out before taking off that electrical lead. Uh, so it doesn't get clogged, but uh, I'm pretty close to getting this thing pulled out and put back in. So uh, I was watching online and there's a fellow, very good, who says, when you try and lever this out, I'll have to go get some pliers and stuff like that and see if I can get this out. When this comes straight up and out, sometimes the uh, little nozzle, uh, get stuck and broken in there. And if it does, he was saying, just get a screw, like a coarse thread screw, get in there, screw it into try and grab the threads of what's broken off in there, pull it up uh, and out, and then you're good. He says, if it doesn't come out, then you can just take it and push it down and leave it in the tank. And, uh, and it'll just live down there. It's big enough that uh, it will never get sucked up by the fuel filter and never cause a clog. Um, anyways, I hope this helps with that. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to be able to get this thing all done and get rid of this P0446 code. I've already changed the vent solenoid and, uh, and um, <clears throat> the purge valve solenoid. And so this is this is what is going to be the fixer the last item so anyways these are a couple of lines that come into the fuel pump one of them would go to the um uh, fuel filter uh, to clean the fuel before the engine uses it um there's a negative uh ground line it also runs up into the filler neck up there 